Let's begin. Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, welcome. We have this beautiful day, which is Monday, October 2nd, 2023. Thank you so much for being here. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. We're going to have another class, as you may know. We're going to work with section number three today. Yep. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, we're going to start right away. I hope everybody is okay at home, happy and healthy. So uh, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Okay. Thank you so much. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Um, let me see. Second. Okay. Oh, Jesus, no, this is not the one. Okay, let me see. Okay. Oh, what is the list here? Eight to nine. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, let me show you what's going to be today's class uh, really quick. We're going to start working on this one right away. So um, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Uh, this is going to be today's class. Uh, section number three is the one we're going to start this week, as you may know, and that is called My Neighborhood. My Neighborhood, that's the name of today's class. Uh, the section three is called What's Your Neighborhood Like? We're going to have pre-intermediate module two, and this is class number two. Sorry, class number five. Oh, okay, Briseida, thank you so much for letting me know. This is class number five. And this is intermediate, pre-intermediate module number two. Okay, so thank you so much for being here. Oh, Jenny, Lisbeth, that's okay, no problem. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, okay, Elisa, thank you so much for letting me know on the chat. Oh, that's very good. So let's begin. What is this thing about? We're gonna have this short information Let's take a look of this one. Uh, Freddy, hello, Freddy. Good. Good hello, evening. Good. How are you? Yes. I'm good, thank you. What about you? I'm very fine. How's um, uh, Recently, I I I ate my my dinner. <laughs> oh, 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 so you had dinner? <laughs> yes, uh, recently. Uh -huh. Oh, that's good. Yeah, thank you so yes. much for sharing. Do me a favor, read the information. First of all, the picture. Describe, what do you see here in the picture, oh, please? Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah. Um, I see uh, four, four windows. <laughs> four windows? An, okay. an, an apartment. <laughs> oh, an apartment, uh, okay. Uh, uh, for rent. <laughs> oh, for rent. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. What, okay, thank you. What What's the number that we have here in this? Um, uh, the, the, the picture. Oh, yes. What's the number that we have in the picture? Ah, uh, the number, number, the number, the telephone. Mm, the telephone number, exactly. Telephone number, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes. uh -huh. what, what is the number? Say the number, please. Ah, okay. Uh, for rent, call Adam, really? Uh, nine, nine, uh, mm, 16. Okay. Five, 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 uh, three, four, three, four. Okay, perfect. Now, please, Freddy, read read the information that is here in Live Blue, please. Perfect, yes. Uh, people in North America move often. When they look for a new home, they consider many factors. People with children, for example, think about the quality, the quality of the local school. 
schools. Others consider the number of restaurant shops and supermarket nearby. The ava availability, availability um, of public transportation and how can the neighborhood is people can use real estate agent to help them find a new home or they can look in the newspaper or online for available place to live. Most people walk around the neighborhood and talk to them talk to the neighbor before they make a decision. And in your country, do people use real oh, estate? Thank you, Freddy, that's very ah, nice. Okay. Oh, yes, <laughs> thank you. Those are the questions, thank you. Daniela Mercedes, okay. uh, tell me, Daniela Olivares, what is this information about, please? Um, um, that that reading describe um, how people live in their neighborhoods and what they do. Thank you. Somebody else wants to say something about this reading. What is this reading about? Mm -hmm. Anybody? So as as Freddie was mentioned, as people in North America move often. Do you understand that, that, let's say, sentence? Like, people in North America move often. What is this thing about, Claudia? What is this thing about? People in North America move often. Um, maybe people in North America frequently are changing their houses. Exactly right. Exactly right. Very good. So like like uh, what that's what they're doing. They're looking for houses or apartments, right? And when you do that, you need to take into consideration different aspects, right? You and also with the area where you're going to get into, right? In this part, what are the aspects? For example, if you want to get a new house, yeah, let's say, what are the aspects that you need to consider? Maria Vilma Cortez, tell me, what are the aspects that you that you consider when you move or when you buy a new house? Mm -hmm. Like, for example, si usted va a comprar una casa, right, in, in, in otra área, right, que no es la que usted, donde usted vive, right? ¿Cuáles son esos aspectos que usted considera y dice, oh, I need to check this, this, and this? Mm -hmm. um, this house, um, no sé cómo, o this pel grande. Oh, it is, it is if the area is big or if the house is big? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, the house is very big. Oh, yeah, uh, okay. And big family. Oh, you have a big family. Okay, very good. What about what about the price, Maria? What about the price? Mm hmm Trabajar mucho para ahorrar. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, let's say, let's say, right, que, que usted tiene el, el money, right, pero cuando usted busca una house, right, yo usted va viendo, right, el price. Oh, cuánto voy a pagar, right? What, what is the price of that one? Very good. And what about the area, Maria? What about the area, you know, uh, where this house is located? Me refiero, what is the area? What is the, the town or the city? Yes. O, o cuando usted compra una casa, se va a un lugar allá, bien apartado, right? <laughs> There is no, like, places, right? Or, or buildings around. Mm. Um, que esté como, pero no sé cómo decirlo. Como en un buen lugar. In a good, in a good area, okay. Good, a... Ajá. good city. Oh, in a good um, city. Como apartado. 
del, oh. de la ciudad, por decirlo. Oh. Ok, like outside the city. Outside the city. Oh, that's good. That's good. Thank you so much, Maria. That was very good. Okay. What about you, Santos? What What do you look for when you like want to get a new place to live? What are, What are the things that you look for? Sorry, teacher. What are the things? What are the characteristics that you look for a house? when you want to buy a new house or when you want to rent a house. Mm -hmm. Let's say, where, where do you live, Santos? Where do you live? I live in San Miguel. Okay, let's say que usted quiere comprar una house in San Miguel, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. What are those characteristics of the area? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Que usted dice, ah, Bueno, pues voy a comprar a new house, right? Entonces, uh -huh. tengo que pensar, right? If I have children, okay, my work. Uh, ¿Qué tenga que ir? No, en su caso, en su caso. ¿Qué es lo que usted ah, se fija, caso. right? Uh -huh. um, que tenga trees. <laughs> okay, trees. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, también... Que tenga, no sé, un garden. Okay, that's good. So you can have some flowers, right? Uh, uh -huh. um, uh, que sea una, una big house. Oh, una big house. Okay. Big house. Mm -hmm. Creo que eso lo es. Okay. Y que tenga suficientes cuartos. Oh, okay. So, uh, like, like Maria, right? Big family, right? A big family. Ah, no quiero, no quiero, pero... <laughs> bueno. <laughs> oh, that's good. Thank you so much. Okay. So, one thing that you need to consider when you move is you need to think about different, for example, the schools. Si tiene hijos, right? You need to check that, like, there we have schools close to the uh, house. Yes, right? Porque si usted vive en San Miguel y se va para, no sé, cabañas, right? Pues hay lugares donde las el schools quedan far away. So, so you need to check if the area we have schools. Also, you need to check if there are restaurants, right? Some have restaurants or malls. And also the kind of neighborhood you have, right? Yes. Sí, imagínese, va al fondo, right? Oh, I need a house. Y lo mandan para allá, para la campanera, right? Okay, sería vivir para allá, right? Mm -hmm. Jesus, okay. So you need to think about the safety of your, um, or your, or your family, right? I think so. Also, if, if, good evening. Also, if you have a job, tiene que asegurarse, bueno, que la casa no le quede muy lejos de su job, right? If you live in San Miguel, y compra una casa allá en Santa Ana, well, that's difficult, you know what I mean? That's difficult for you to, to have it or to travel. Yeah, so you need to consider different aspects. And here in this uh, information, we are talking about it. What are the aspects that we consider when we want to move to a, uh, a new house or a new, uh, let's say, um, uh, apartment? Right here in El Salvador, most of uh, the places are houses. Yes, just in the city, we have some apartments. But most of us, we live in houses, small houses, pretty much. Okay, thank you. Uh, we're going to work with uh, this exercise, as you see, places and activities. In our city, in our city, we have different places, and also we have different activities that we can do about it. Okay, so ayude me, please. Um, Anna, hello, Anna, Cristina. Peña de Paz. Ayúdeme a leer yeah. este vocabulary, Hello. please. Okay. Uh, places and activities. Mm, match the place and the definition, then ask and ask the question with a partner. What's clothing store? Mm -hmm. Grocery store? Yes. Hair, hair salon? Yeah. Uh, a landromat next stadium 
a wifey hot spot. Thank you it's so much. It's a place where you. Um, hasta ahí. Yes, thank you so much, Ana. Daniela, you got okay. a question? Yes, um, what is grocery store? Oh, grocery store es la tiendita de la niña Lupita. Bien. Esas tienditas que tienen de todo. Va por una recarga, you get it. Va por un pamper, you get it. Va por una cora de café, you get it. It's like, they have everything, right? They have everything. Va por una soda, they have it. Frijoles, they have it. That's a grocery story. And also, pretty much yeah. is porque ahí es donde usted compra los frijoles. La, la mayoría de las cosas that we use at home. Okay, so grocery store is like we have some, some groceries. Like beans, I don't know, corn, and stuff like that. Eh, Juan José, thank you. Uh, sí, uh, sería lo mismo que un bazar. No. No, I'm sorry. Like here in El Salvador, un bazar es como que venden cosas de shampoo, right? Yes or no? No, un bazar <laughs> es como donde encuentras de todo, igual, o sea, lo que busques. Oh, okay. I think it's, it's the same. I think it's the same. Yes. O como oh, una okay. despensita, algo así. E exactly. Es como uh -huh. una tiendita, right? Que de repente oh, se le caen okay. los frijoles y dice, oh, anda a comprar frijoles, but you go there. Oh, oh, oh se yeah. thank me thank quedé you. sin pampers. Anda a comprar un dólar, right? Yeah, it's, it's something, something like that. It's, it's, it's like a small, a small store. Yeah, with, with food, with uh, things that we use at home, like food and a little stuff. Okay. Um, yes. Here we have the definition, as you may see. So we're going to have, uh, these are the places and these are the definitions. So we're going to put the definitions according to the places. So let's say, for example, number one, what is the definition of a clothing store? What's a clothing store? Any idea? Letter A, letter G. Edith? Tienda de ropa. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es la definición? ¿Cuál es la definición, Edith? Ana? Tienda de ropa. Yes, exactly. Pero ¿cuál sería la definición acá? It's a place where you... Letter F. Letter F. Ok, letter let me see. Exactly, let me see. Find new fashions. Exactly right. You go there and you buy some clothes. Mm -hmm. That means you get like... Los pantalones para tienda, right? What about grocery store? Mm -hmm. Letter A. Letter A, Letter right? A. That's true, right? So if you see a get food and small items for home. What about hair salon? Letter C. Letter C. Okay, you get a haircut, right? You go there. What about laundromat? Letter G. Letter G. Letter G, right? It's like here in El Salvador, tenemos algunas y le llamamos dry cleaner. Most of them, that's the way they call it, right? Dry cleaner. But in, in the US, laundromat. Wash and dry your clothes. Yeah. No. Uh, what about newsstand? Newsstand. Letter D. Letter D. Okay. Very good. So we have buy newspapers and magazines. Yeah, here in El Salvador, I guess we don't have that. Maybe at Selectos, right? Number six, stadium. Letter E. Letter E. See a game or a concert, right? Here we have, what are the stadiums that we have here in El Salvador? Uh, Cuscatlan Stadium. Cuscatlan Stadium and also Mágico Gonzalez Stadium. And also we have one in San Miguel, right? What is the name in San Miguel? Any idea? El Barraza. El Barraza. Okay, very good. And number seven, what is the number seven? Letter B. Letter B, Letter B right. Exactly, right. Yes. So if you see here in El Salvador, we have some spots like internet connection in some parks. Like, for example, here in San Salvador, in Santa Tecla, we, they people, when they get there, they can have free internet connection. Yeah. So the city hall provides internet connection. Alcaldía, right? The city hall provides free internet connection for people. Yeah, so you can get. So, uh, okay, now please do me a favor, um, Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez. 
read the vocabulary and then the definition, please. Thank you. Okay. Clothing is sword. You can find new fashions in groceries store. You can get food and small items for the home. Hair salon. You can get a hair court in land room. You can wash and dry your clothes in news stand. You can buy new newspaper and magazines in in the stadium you can see a game on or a concert in wi-fi hotspot you can connect to the internet thank you so much very good here we have some other places as you may see we have a coffee shop a drugstore a gas station a library a pass office okay Thank you. What I want you to do is find the definition of these ones, right, on Google, and then I will hear some participation from you so we can guess what is the place. You know what I mean? For example, here we have, it's a place where you drink coffee and tea and eat the small meals, right? So at the end, we, we figured it out that that is a coffee shop based on the definition. What I want you to do is buy a Google, right? Y busque la definition of drugstore, gas station, library, and post office. Cuando tenga lista una de estas, right? Levante la mano y nos da la definición para que adivinemos what is the place you are talking about. Usted no nos va a decir el place. So no nos va a decir, oh, it's a place where you, I don't know. What are the things that you do in this place? Yeah, right? And we, as a class, we are going to try to guess cuál es el place you are talking about in that definition, yes? Yeah, if you find one place, you can raise your hand so we can have your participation today, okay? Yep, easy peasy. Do you, do you understand at home? Yes? Yes, so you need to, one more time, you need to go to Google, find one of the definitions here, okay, and then you raise your hand, you know this, right? Oh, it's a place where you, right? Y luego nosotros, we guess, what is that place you are talking about, okay? Mm -hmm. So, Yeah, when you have one definition, the, raise your the, hand. The drugstore. Oh, uh. it's a place. It's a place where you can buy medicine. Oh, okay, Anna, very good. Pero ahí usted nos dijo antes, right? Y la idea era que usted nos diera lo, la definición primero y luego nosotros adivináramos, right? We guess, we guess the place. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very good. Uh, we have the drugstore, right? The drugstore is done already. So it is a place we can buy medicine, right? Those acetaminophens, right, Ana Cristina? Those are the ones that we usually buy. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Perfect. Somebody else? Mm -hmm. Somebody else? Oh, okay, Jacqueline Vanessa, thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, it's a place where you can uh, fill up your car or motorcycle uh, with gas sewing. and also uh, you can fix some things of your of your car or motorcycle as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, Anna. What is that? What is that, Anna? Any idea? Gas station. Oh, a gas station, Jacqueline? Yes, it oh, is. <laughs> thank you so much, right? Yes. And there are some gas stations that they have like, a, I don't know, like a small uh, cafeteria, right? Where we can buy some food or some snacks. Oh, that's good. Thank you so much. So we have gas station. is done already. 
Perfect. Okay, somebody else? Mm -hmm. Somebody else? Somebody else? Yep. Uh huh. We're missing two. Two definitions here. Okay. Me, teacher? Oh, please go ahead. Thank you so much, Claudia. Okay. It's a place where you can read and learn some novels or books. Thank you. What is what is that place? Any idea? Freddy? It's a library. It's a library. Very good. Library. It's, a, it's a library, library. right? Library. Ah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here in San Salvador. I live I live in San Salvador. We're gonna have one big one here. Okay. And I'm like expecting uh for them to finish that library so we can go there and, and see what, what we can read. Yeah. So that's that will be a really nice thing. Uh, and what about the last one? Somebody was raising, um, okay, what about the last one? What is the definition of the last place that we have here? Anybody? Mm -hmm. It's a place where you send a physical message. Oh, a physical, exactly right. When you send, you send packages. Very good, uh -huh. right? we send packages, yeah. right? So some Salvadorian people, they send Gaina India, I guess. Right, uh, and some products uh, to the U.S. so they, the people over there can have it. Thank you so much. Very good. again, this is about the places or the activities uh, that we can have in our neighborhood. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this conversation. First of all, do me a favor, um, Jenny Elizabeth Tolosa Cortez. Look at the picture, Jenny, and describe the picture, please. Jenny, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Please describe the picture. Wh who are they? Where are they? What are they doing? Grandmother. Oh, a grandmother. Very good. And what about this one? Mm-hmm. What is what is she wearing, Jenny? What is she wearing? Dress. A dress. Okay. What about this one? What is the name of this one? Um, jacket. A, a jacket, probably. And what is the name of this product here? Sunglasses. Uh, sunglasses or glasses? Glasses. Oh, glasses, right? Remember, glasses are the normal ones, the ones that we, we use when we have some difficulties with, with the arm. Very mm -hmm. good. And what about this, this gentleman here? What is he wearing? Um, t-shirt. A blue t-shirt, very good. Um, backpack. A backpack, right, very good. Um, pants. Pants. And shoe, blue. Okay, ¿cómo le llamamos este tipo de shoes? Um, in El Salvador le llamamos tenis, right? A todo le llamamos tenis. I don't know why. Yeah. But in the US, what is the name of this one? These are like common, common like shoes that uh, when they want to feel comfortable with their feet, they, they wear this kind of, of shoes. What are the names of these ones? Mm -hmm. ¿Necesita ayuda de María Vilma Cortés? Yes. Oh, okay, thank you, María Vilma, please. What is the name of these uh, shoes that we have here? Mm -hmm. María Vilma. Sorry, teacher. Oh, okay. Ahorita Daniela nos va a apoyar, okay? No, no se preocupe. Thank you. Daniela? Um, there's uh, sneakers. Sneakers, right? Exactly. In the U.S., a esos que nosotros le llamamos tenis, a todos, ellos le llaman sneakers, right? Son, son pues, unos shoes que son para, when you feel, want to, like, be comfortable, yeah, you wear sneakers, right? Aquí en el sábado le llamamos tenis, right? 
Okay, what about uh, Maria Vilma? Thank you, back to you. What about the backpack? Is it big or small? Big backpack or a small backpack? Big backpack. Okay, very good. And where are they? Where are they? Are they in a school? Are they in a bus terminal? Are they um, in a house? Where are they, Maria Vilma? Um, are they in a mall? A station train. <laughs> oh, in a in a train station. Okay, uh -huh. probably right. Very good, very good. Thank you so much. We have the title here. Just I just moved in. I just moved in. Do you understand the title, Freddy? This title here. I just moved in. Uh -huh. I say a uh, commentary. <laughs> oh, they, they, they are in, in Palacio Nacional. Oh, <laughs> probably right. Yeah, <laughs> El Palacio Nacional. There, there was an event on the weekend. Sí, uh, hubo un evento de moda on the weekend, right? Creía que se iba a caer, but aguanto. Yeah. <laughs> aguanto. There was a big event, uh, a fashion event over there on the weekend. And I was, when I was watching the video, dije yo, porque esa cosa se mueve. When you walk inside, se mueve. The, the rooms, uh, entonces with the cameras and the equipment, yo dije yo, mm -hmm. se va a caer, but no, I went to right, so that's good, <laughs> thank you so much. Incredible. Yeah, <laughs> incredible. So, Freddy, question, do you do you understand the phrase, I just moved in? I just, I just moved, moved in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, not exactly. Okay, what is this no, moved? No. Moved. The action. Oh, exactly, the action of moving, right? This is past or or, or, or present? In, in, in past. This is past, right? Exactly. Past. Entonces, uh -huh. I just moved in. We use this expression cuando nos movemos de un location to another location, right? Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. So the expression I just moved in means that this person moved from one place to another. Yeah. Right. Ah, es okay. como que usted viva en San Miguel y luego se va para Santana, right? I just y luego digo, oh, I just, exact, I just moved uh, in. Yeah, this expression we use when we move to one place. So, okay, uh, so perfect. we have Greg and uh, Mrs. Thanks. Cook here in this conversation. I want you to listen and read the conversation. And also, I'm going to play three times. La primera time es para que usted lea y escucha, right? La second time is para que usted igual vuelva a leer and you read. Y la third time necesito que you repeat at home. Con su micrófono apagado usted repeat. Entre más usted abra la boca, exagere with the phrases, that is good for you. ¿Ok? Porque necesito que articule, right? Articule las palabras. So open your mouth, ¿ok? To speak. Exaggerate. Ya cuando usted sea un expert, Ni se va a notar eso, right? But now you're learning, right? So I need you to, to do it like that. So let's listen and read. Unit 8. How's the neighborhood? Page 50. Exercise 2. Conversation. I just moved in. Listen and practice. Excuse me. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Greg. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a hair salon in the shopping center. A hair salon? Unit 8. How's the neighborhood? Page 50. Exercise 2. Conversation. I just moved in. Listen and practice. Excuse me. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Greg. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? 
Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a hair salon in the shopping center. A hair salon? Unit 8. How's the neighborhood? Page 50. Exercise 2. Conversation. I just moved in. Listen and practice. Excuse me. Hi. I'm your new neighbor, Greg. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a hair salon in the shopping center. A hair salon? Thank you. Question for you. Uh, let me see. Janessi Alexandra, what is this conversation about? About uh, locations of some places around the neighborhood. Okay, and who just moved in? Greg. Exactly, very good. Okay, and where are they? Where is this conversation taking place? Um, it's like the... No me acuerdo cómo se dice entrada. <laughs> oh, entrance, entrance. Uh, it's in the entrance of the building where they live. Perfect. Thank you so much. Very good. I put tandems. I'm sorry. It would take like a few minutes. Uh, so when you hear your beautiful name, say present or I'm here. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. It's nice to have you, Blanca. Isolina Guzman Cruz. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Briseida Janet Garcia Crespin. You wrote in the chat, right, Briseida? Yes. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Okay. Uh, very good. Uh, let's move on with Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. Present. Wonderful. Good evening. Welcome. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. I'm here. Thank you so much for being here. Evers Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Present. Thank you so much for being here. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Edwin Benjamín Sánchez Portillo. Edwin Benjamín Sánchez Portillo. Let me check the chat really quick. Uh, no, he isn't. Okie dokie. Let's move on with um, Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Elisa Maria Gar Garcia de Ruiz. Let me check the chat. Oh, Elisa. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Elisa Maria. Very good. Ahorita le tomé la attendance. Thank you so much. Uh, Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Iliana Mariel Alvarado Menquiva. Iliana Mariel Alvarado Menquiva. Okay, let me check the chat really quick. Uh, Iliana. No. Okay, she isn't here. Okay, let's move down with. Janessi Alexandra López Portillo. Janessi Alexandra López Portillo. Present. Thank you so much. Welcome. Uh, Jacqueline Vanessa Rodríguez Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Janie Lisette Escobar Lucero. Janie Lisette Escobar Lucero. No, she isn't. Okay, let me see. No, she isn't. Okay. 
If you're here, write in the chat, please, so I can have you. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Nice to have you. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Um, Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Come here, teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Liliana del Transito Aguilar Juarez. Present teacher. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. No, he isn't. Oh, Marcos is, is writing in the chat. Okay, Marcos. Thank you so much. Good evening. Nice to have you. Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Milena de Los Angeles Aragón Pleites. Milena de Los Angeles Aragón Pleites. Hello. Milena, no. Okay. Um Janie Lisette, I got you here. Thank you so much. So Milena, she is in here. But Janie, yes, she is. Okay, okay. What about Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya? Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Alvarez. Present teacher. Thank you and good evening. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. Thank you so much for being here. Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Let's continue working on this thing that is this conversation. I'm going to play it one more time so you can check it out. Pronunciation. And then voy a abrir los breakout rooms. Así que guarde la conversation, please. And do me a favor. Send the picture on WhatsApp group so we can have it. So let's listen. Unit 8. How's the neighborhood? Page 50. Exercise 2. Conversation. I just moved in. Listen and practice. Excuse me. Hi. I'm your new neighbor, Greg. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a hair salon in the shopping center. A hair salon? Okay, so I'm going to open the breakout rooms. Please send the conversation on WhatsApp group. So your classmates can have it. Oh, that's very good. Thank you so much. You're very nice. Okay, Leiva, you did it. Okay. Uh, the conversation is in WhatsApp group. I'm going to open the breakout room so you can practice a little bit with your partners. Okay, uh, let me see. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, in the main room, voy a dejar, let me see. Um, voy a dejar a Blanca Isolina Cortez Cruz, Guzmán Cruz, Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro, and Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Ustedes three, please, no se unan a los breakout rooms. Jose Alcides Leiva, Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez, and Blanca Isolina Guzmán. Los demás, please, join the breakout rooms so you can practice. En caso you have problems with your microphone, se queda siempre en la sala principal. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Ahí están los breakout rooms. Please join. Join the breakout rooms. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Cindy, you can join. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Uh, Janessi, oh, okay, you having problems, okay, very good. Um, yeah. Ronald, you need to, oh, very good. Okay, thank you. 
So this is time for, for you to practice. Here, I'm gonna I'll share with you the conversation so you can have it and you can practice at the conversation, okay? Okay, so Jorge and Jose Alcides, please, let's begin. Okay, um, I'm the first. Great, Jorge. Oh, I think eh, you're... yo como Greg. And, uh, and Jose Alcides. Alcides, hello. Sí. Hola. You are Mrs. Cook, and then okay. you change roles, okay? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Excuse me. Hi, I'm your na na new neighbor, Greg. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundry mate near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a hair salon in the shopping center. A hair salon? Change roles, please. Okay. 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 Excuse me. Hi. I'm your new neighbor. Great. I use Moon. Oh, yes. i looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes. There are some on the Pine Street. Oh, good. Uh, is there a round dramat near here? Well, I think there's one across for from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there a higher salon in the shopping center. A hair salon. Thank you so much. Very good. Somebody else here. Somebody else here. Blanca, can you participate? Hi. Hi. Good evening. Um, Cindy, can you participate? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. So Blanc Blanca and you, Cindy. Blanca, you are great, and Cindy, you are Mrs. Cook, and then you change roles. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Hi, I'm your new uh, network, Gray. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a browser store. Are there in around here? Yes, they are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a long train near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there a hair salon in the shopping center. A hair salon? Okay. Excuse me. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Greg. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on um, Pine Street. Oh, good. Um, is there a long laundromat near here? 
Well, I think there are um, a crowd for the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a hair salon in the shopping center. A hair salon? Very good. Okay. Thank you so much for that participation. That was very good. Now we're going to have the rest of your classmates here in the main room. Um, we're going to listen one more time the audio and then uh, some of them will participate. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here again. So I'm going to check one more time, play one more time the audio, and then a, a few of you will participate. Let's listen and read. Unit 8. How's the neighborhood? Page 50. Exercise 2. Conversation. I just moved in. Listen and practice. Excuse me. Hi. I'm your new neighbor, Greg. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a hair salon in the shopping center. A hair salon? Thank you. Uh, Claudia? Your partner is going to be uh, Juan Jose Garcia. Okay, so Juan, you are great. Claudia, you are Mrs. Cook. Ready? Let's begin. Excuse me. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Greg. I'm just moving in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there, are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a hair salon in the shopping center. A hair salon? <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Very good. Ronald, uh, Rafael Cruz, you are Greg. And Janessi, you are Mrs. Cook. Yes. Ready? Yes. Excuse me. I am I am your neighbor whore. Greg, I just moved in. Oh yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around there? Around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh good. And there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a sal there is a hair salon in the shopping center. A hair salon? Thank you so much, the two of you. Are very good. Uh, Sandra Noemi Pimentel. Sandra Noemi Pimentel. You are yes. Greg. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez. You are you Mrs. are Miss. Mrs. Cook, okay? Okay. Excuse me. Hi, I am your new neighbor. What I use move in. Oh yes. I am looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are there are some on Pink Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a hair. A salon in the shopping center. A hair salon. Thank you so much. Very good. Unit 8. That was very good. So we're going to work with this exercise. Uh, Evers, 
please read the information, everything that is on the screen, please. Okay. Mm, must match the words in the columns A and B. Write the name of the places. Column A, coffee, college, gas, grocery, hair, movie, post, shopping, Wi-Fi. And column B, campus, shop, hotspot, office, mall, salon, station, store, and theater. Thank you so much. So there are some places that we call compound words that we use two words to make one minute. So like coffee shop is just one building where we use two words together to get one minute, okay? Uh, what about the number two? What is the number two? We have college. College campus. Exactly, right? So we have a college mm. campus, very good. Okay, very good. Uh, what about the number three? Gas station. Oh, the gas station. station. Very good. E expensive, right? Nowadays, gasoline is getting expensive. Uh, yes. A station, you tell me, right? Thank you. What about the number three? Grocery store. Very good. Okay, ma'am, ma'am, because this thing didn't get it. Grocery, very good. Uh, a store. Look at this one, right? Very good. Number five. Hair salon. Hair salon. Very, very good. Esta palabra hair is difficult to say and also difficult to write. Hair salon. Okay, what is that one? Oh, salon. Yes, right. Uh, what about the other one? Number six. Movie theater. Movie theater, right? Very good. Here in El Salvador, what are the movie theaters that we have? Mm hmm. Yes, how often do you in go to the police. movie theater? Exactly. Post right. office. Cinema. Okay. Post office. Cinema. Exactly, right? A little bit of. What is another one? Cinepolis is another one, I guess, right? Post office. Okay. Office. Very good. Number eight. Shopping center. Oh, shopping center. My favorite, right? Shopping center, right. Also, what is another way of saying shopping center? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es otra forma of saying shopping center? Mall, mall exactly, mall. right. We have, exactly. Mall. Vamos al mall. Sometimes we say that. Hey, vamos al mall, right? Very good. And what about the last one? Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi hotspot. Exactly, right. So we have a Wi-Fi. Okay. Hotspot. Okay, uh, Okay. any question about this vocabulary? Do you understand this vocabulary? Mm -hmm. Do you understand this vocabulary? Okay, Jacqueline, yes. Vanessa, tell me, what is a coffee shop? It's a place where you can go to to eat your breakfast, sometimes your lunch, and get a coffee and bread. Exactly. Bread, right? Very good. How do, ¿Cómo decimos pan dulce en English? Any idea? With bread. Daniela? Daniela Mercedes? How do we say pan dulce? With bread. Esa semita alta, right? Esas peperechas, esas novias en conjunto. How do we say that one? Sweet bread? I don't, I don't know. Okay. okay. Usually bread, bread, bread sweet. Uh, bread, bread. Usually, usually bread es el que compramos para los sándwiches, right? Ese es bread, right? Pero, eh, o el pan francés también es bread. El pan francés es bread. But, los pan dulces le llamamos pastry. Pastry. Pastry, right? En conjunto. In English, pues, solo tienen algunos names. For example, cupcake, cake. Uh, but in Spanish, tenemos un, como salarrer, right? Peperechas, novias, I don't know, <laughs> joyos, uh, I don't know. We have a different names uh, for, for pastry. 
¿ok? Entonces, no le llamamos sweetbread, literalmente decimos sweetbread, que es pan dulce, right? But in English it's called pastry, right? In general, pastry okay. is in general, ¿ok? Oh, pastry, ok, sure. How do you write it? Oh, Can you sure. write it? Oh, sure, give me a minute. Pastry, ¿ok? Pastry, the dust here is, is, is the, that's the pan dulce in English, right? I, I love it in Spanish because in Spanish we have these different names. So you can, oh, give me two peperechas. Oh, give me two novias, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so in Spanish it's better. Yeah, creo que es mejor in Spanish the names, but in English tienen esto in general, pastry, okay? Uh, algunos sí tienen sus propios names, but not, not too many. Okay, very good. So again, this is about places in our city. I need you to practice these places and also to practice I mean, what is the meaning of these places, right? What do we do there? So you can practice um, the verbs at the same time because we are going to use these places in this section number five, okay? So um, thank you so much for being here. We're going to stop it because it's time. You can rest. Be nice and be kind, and we will see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Good night. Thank Bye. you so much, everybody. Great job.